All right, so in this problem, we have a formula m plus 2n equals 0, and we want to see which of the following statements is true for this formula. Now, as we can tell in our answers, they are asking for values that are greater, lower, or equal to n with the value of m in comparison to the value of m. So if we take a look at our formula again, we can also say that m equals negative 2n. Now, let's plug in values for m and see how it changes our the value for n in comparison. So let's pick two easy values. Let's pick a positive number, 2, and we'll also pick a negative number, negative 2. Now let's see how this compares the values of n in comparison. So if we plug in 2, we have 2 equals negative 2n, and if we divide negative 2 on both sides in order to isolate n, we have negative 1 equals n. And when m equals 2, then n is less than m, so we can state that m is greater than n for this case. Now let's take a look at when m equals negative 2. Now let's plug in negative 2 equals negative 2n, and again we'll divide negative 2 on both sides, and we have positive 1 equals n. And in this case, when m equals negative 2, n is greater, so m is less than n. Now if we take a look at our answers, m is not always greater than n because we saw in this case right over here that when m is negative 2 then the n is greater. That means we can cancel out a and that means that we can always also cancel out b because m is not always lower than the value of n as we can tell right over here. Now let's move on to option c which states that m is always equal to n. Well, this is not true because we saw in this case right over here and in this case here, when m equals 2 or negative 2, the values are not equal and m is either greater than n or lower than n. All right, and that means that d is going to be our final answer, which states that m may be greater or lower than n. And that is exactly what is represented in both of our examples here. And therefore, d will be our final answer.